Again, I'll. So I'm here with Cameron McSwirley, who could be the only left, the, the only last genie on the planet. And I met him a number of years ago. And since then, he has been working very studiously on a way to transform how we sort of uh, see ourselves, I guess. And there's one, one thing you just mentioned about the concept of redemption. Why do we start? Like, are we gaining our redemption by creating a new system for ourselves? I would say so. So I think in the last one, I talked about the Eucadian model that I utilize. So I have a trust, it's a foundation trust in my name. And that is the basis for my estate. Um, everybody that's born has a specific identifier, right? Where you were born, what time you were born. Um, it goes as far into astrology. You know, there's lots of different surveys for it. So the Eucadian system gives you a trust number based off a very unique survey. And when you begin to utilize that system, uh, you redeem that number. You're not using it right now, but it just, ex it exists nonetheless. Uh, so that becomes your trust number. And in redeeming that number, you take a step in redeeming who you are and your autonomy towards that to dictate your own system and to be responsible for your own mind through your will and the testament of that will. Um, which is, which is fascinating, you know, you get into the roots of the word testify and uh, they, your balls are on the line, right? Like that's where the word comes from. You're, you're, you're testifying. Uh, your testament is your formation of your will. And so currently a lot of people don't have a will. I don't know, how many, do you have a will? No. Most people don't. And so if you have a will and it's in the, let's say the province of British Columbia or where we both live, if you die, everything becomes probated and has to go through court. And the court decides whether or not what you've done is right because they have the jurisdiction to do that. And they will divvy up assets or figure out whatever might need to be figured out according to their legislation. If you redeem your membership number, uh, which is your trust number, in the Eucadian systems, the one that I'm just going to keep referencing because it's the best one that I've found so far and it's the one I'm working with. Um, nobody else has jurisdiction to tell you whether what you're doing is right or not. And it's done through the formation of your will. Um, one of the things that happens in there is I am the trustee of my estate. I'm not the beneficiary of it. I appoint all of the different governments of office and agencies as the beneficiaries of my estate. So every single road that I build, every single fence that I put up, every single tree that I plant, everything that I do in my entire life, any book that I write and anything else that I do in my life is to the benefit of everybody else, not to me. It's my life's work. It's my passion. It's what I enjoy. Um, nobody can tell me what to do with that when I die because they're not the trustees. They're the beneficiaries. So let's say I die and I leave something to you and I say, you're the beneficiary of my estate. And you go, well, no, I'm the trustee. I get to make the rules. Well, you can't be the beneficiary and the trustee at the same time. Oh. Right? So it reverses the trust relation in that action. So nobody can come to you and say, we're going to probate your will. We're going to tell you that you can or you can't because we're mom and dad and you're a little kid. So what you do is you break that system through the redemption of your own trust. And it's formalized in the will and testament under your foundation trust, through your trust number, uh, through a superior charter, through a superior survey. So you can't say, well, I live between that mountain and that rock and that's my survey and it's the best ever. And somebody else says, well, our survey goes, you know, global. So it's a little bit bigger than that mountain and that rock. They might be able to argue they have a superior survey. Um, my trust starts in a galactic survey and it breaks down into a solar survey and it breaks down into a planetary and, and then a national and then a regional and then a cadaster, which is basically between 
the rock and the mountain. Um, and so it's hard to say that that survey is less correct. It's, <laughs> it's a bit broader. It's a bigger survey. Um, <clears throat> kind of like saying that the federal government has more jurisdiction over a municipality, over a region, right? It's a bigger, it's a bigger body. Uh, so yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's the process of, of redemption of, of who are you and what is your will and what is your way? Because there's so many people that have different ways and we're not meant to tread on each other. If I'm not hurting anybody, you're not hurting anybody. What's the problem? Why should I have a hard time asserting myself into the world? And why should you have a hard time asserting yourself into the world? So yeah, it gets into that, the redemption of your trust. Do you want to redeem your trust? So what's the relationship between the charter, the survey and the trust? So the charter 